hey movie fans, if you like movies, then you quote movies. That's what you do. And so today we're going to count down the top six. Yes, six, because there's so many quotable movies. We would like to go a little bit above and beyond for this one. The top six most quoted movies of all time. We tried to search all throughout film, not just recent. We did it all. So, at number six, we have The Princess Bride. How can you not quote this movie? I, even, like, I find that this movie finds its way into our general speakage. You know what I mean? Like, I do not know. I do not know. YouTube. YouTube, YouTube is what brings us together, together today. today. I do not think that word means what you think it means. Like, it's just, it's one of the, it's such a quotable movie. It's... Uh, as you wish, you know, like, and it's so, it's such an iconic movie as well. Uh, it's, it's just, some, I just, I got, you know. Are you the man with six fingers? Do no, you always start your conversations in no. this manner? <laughs> it's just one of those feel good movies that you want to quote along with, but you never really get sick of it. At number five, we have Josh and, one of Josh and I's favorite comedies of all time, Airplane. Oh, man. It's so Dumb and wonderful all at the same time. I miss this type of comedy. We don't get this kind of comedy anymore. Uber, uber dry. Unless you're trying to fly on a plane. Man. He's like, he's flying the plane just like dripping. It's like there's a hose behind it. You know, it's probably a little bit worse. You're going to have to land the plane. Surely you can't be serious. I am. And don't call me Shirley. Growing up in a movie quoting household, like, you gotta know your movie quotes in my family, and probably the Don't Call Me Shirley one is one of the most quoted ever that's not from Star Wars. But the Don't Call Me Shirley one, like, I needed to see that movie pretty quick in order to get that reference because that spewed so, so much. Funny. I think the one I use the, mo the most is uh, when they hand uh, one of the airport guys the the mapping yeah what do you what do you make of this well i can make a hat i can make a brooch it could be a bird which is i lose it every single time oh, airplane yeah. is one of the definitive comedies and with any good comedy comes a plethora of quotable lines as is the case with our number four a more recent pick anchorman mm. yeah anchorman is hit or miss with depending on who you ask Personally, for the two of us, it's a big hit. A lot yeah. of the younger generations like Anchorman, a lot of older generations. Yeah. Makes feelings, but regardless, you've heard Anchorman quoted a million times because it's so memorable. Yes. I think that it's not necessarily as funny as it is memorable. God, which I, I think is like a yeah, it's a Will Ferrell's type syndrome kind of movie where it's it's not necessarily funny, but it's so out of left field that you're just like okay, like I when he's lamp. crying. <laughs> I love lamp. Like when he's crying after uh, he's in the telephone. <laughs> he's in the telephone booth. I'm in a glass case of emotion. <laughs> So bizarre. It's so yeah. it's a, it was a toss up between this and Step Brothers, but by and large people quote Anchor Man more than they quote Step Brothers, but honorable mention to Step Brothers for also being highly quoted. Even if you haven't seen the movie, you've heard at least some lines from Step Brothers. Yeah. Did we just become best friends? Yup. But Anchor Man, it's it's so bizarre. It's one of those movies that you can watch a thousand times oh, yeah. and the lines are still just Bizarre enough and quotable enough. At number three, we move from comedy to more folksy with Forrest Gump. Easily the one that inspired a lot of just pop culture catchphrases that are used today. And a terrible, terrible restaurant. Yes, it's, that's not a good one. I think this one actually might, as much as it is quoted, and we both agreed on this, I think this actually might annoy me. Not because, like, it's... The, the lines, uh, I love that this movie gets that gets buzzed, because it's a good movie, but... It's overquoted. It's over, well, not just overquoted, the lines that people quote all the time are not even that great. Like, life is a box of chocolates, that's not even, like, one of the best lines of the movie. I think it's more just like a, if the Forrest Gump quote fits in a situation, people will find a way to use it. That's fair. And so, like, people like Forrest Gump. I like Forrest Gump. But I don't go around quoting it, but a lot of people do. So mm. it had to be on this list. We both love Forrest mm -hmm. Gump, but it's just like a... Can we ease off on the fo on the quotes a little bit? I was running. Because <laughs> honestly, when have you ever seen someone running somewhere that you know and go, 
Ron, insert your name, Ron. Ron. Yeah. That's probably the one that you use the most often. Oh, it's man. still around today. <sighs> that movie. At number two, we have the one that was quoted by far the most in my own house. Josh, I don't know about you, but yeah. easily, Star Wars. Like, come on, man. Everything about Star Wars is quotable. Mm -hmm. Whether you're talking about the entire original trilogy or mm -hmm. just four. All of four is easily recitable so in my true. own house. Uh, if we're watching it, you could mute it, and any one of the people in my house could probably rattle off the movie in and of itself, but then just go with the original trilogy of do or do not. There is no try. Or I am your father. No. No. I am your father. You have to have that no in the, at the very yep. beginning to be precise. Yeah. But Star Wars is just iconic. It is. I And I think... For me, a lot of the most memorable burns I've had, I've gotten to dish out in my life, have come from quoting that movie to other people, like um, calling someone Bantha fodder. Yeah, Bantha fodder, and like, especially if they haven't seen Star Wars, and I'm like, what is it, Bantha? It's a hairy elephant. Yep, that's actually Basically. what it is. Actually. Basically. Or like, uh, I had a friend in high school who was always super super hairy, and also had a temper. And Did so, you call him Chewy? No, but oh, we would... Oh, he, that's a missed opportunity. And he was like a sore winner and a sore loser. So, like, it was a lose-lose situation all the time. And so we just, like, the common saying when our group of friends was just, like, let the Wookiee win. <laughs> <laughs> just let the Wookiee win. That works too well. Yep. I, I just always remember whenever there's anything like a muffin or bagel... My family has a tendency to put them on their ears and go, Oh, maybe one can over your mouth, I hope. I think everyone has done that at least once. All that stems back to Star yes. Wars, and it's an iconic franchise with iconic lines. So what's more quoted than Star Wars, more than anything else on our list? If you haven't guessed already, Monty Python and oh, the man. Holy Grail. This Even is... if you haven't seen this movie, you've seen the movie by the amount of quotes that people say Seriously. in everyday conversation. It's And it's such an experience to watch for the first time, too. I remember the first time I saw this movie, but my uncle, we, we were visiting my uncle up in Canada, and he had it, and both Ben and I, my brother Ben and I, had never seen it. We'd been wanting to see it, because our friend Matt quotes it all the time. And so then we were like, okay... Well, let's watch it. And so it's just me and him, and it's like dark room watching this movie the, for the first time. And so it's just, uh, you, you, I guess you could say it's a holy grail of quotes. But honestly, what person hasn't had some form of an injury or a scrape or a scar, and at a some scratch. point just go, just but a scratch, <laughs> it's fine. And then somebody behind him goes, your arm's off. And you're like, no, it's not. This is fine. <laughs> or, honestly, when it comes to the greatest insults of all time, number one will always be, you play ball like a girl from Sandlot, followed closely behind by, I fart in your general direction, your, your mother, mother was a hamster, hamster and, and your, your father, father smelled up elderberries. elderberries. That, that's just the quintessential. It's so, what? Like, which apparently, like, because you and I were talking, like, I actually looked up what elderberries were at one point in my life, and, and like, hamster smelling. Yeah, and hamster smelling, and it's, like, those were like legitimate insults, and I've had a hamster, so I feel you, man. Hamsters are... Mm. It's just, Monty Python is one of the most well-known, well-regarded mm -hmm. comedy troops of all time, so when they make a movie, obviously that's going to be the most quoted. So what do you think of the most quoted movies of all time? What are some of your favorite movie quotes? Comment below and let us know. And if you like what you see and want to see more, subscribe to the channel, or find Josh at The McNeely Show on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter. I try to be as active as I can. Stay sharp, movie guys and gals.